game games. I try not to watch what you want. I don't know how our life is about to be like, how our lives are about to be like, how our lives are about to be like, how our lives are Every time um, something happens, there are lots of things that do not happen. Every time we make a choice, there are a lot of choices we are not making. Any sort of event has a an infinite. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say an infinite number of ways that it could go slightly differently or vastly differently. One medium that lets us explore this idea that um, you know a given a given series of events could happen in a number of different ways is contained games. And one game I think that does this particularly well is Last Frontier, the Vesuvius incident. The first time you play Last Frontier, the Vesuvius incident, you're going to do a couple of things. You're going to take control of a group of space marines as they um, board this research station that's derelict and, and, and in need of help. And you're going to discover what's going on and what can happen to you, depending on how thoroughly you read the rule book. The other thing you're going to do, also depending on how thoroughly you read the rule book and how good your memory is, you're going to um, work your way through the rules until you have it internalized. And I think in each iteration of the game, you get the rules down more and you get a better feel, a different feel for what's going on. And things come up differently to create a different experience every time, but still with these very specific space marines with their very specific weapons and their very specific movement rates through hatch. Now the space laboratory has some wonderful specificities about it. For example, this uh, area up here does not have gravity, whereas this area does. And that's kind of fun that you get to be no gravity, gravity. There are two sets of opposing pressures. There's the need for exploration in order to find crew, but exploring it reveals more aliens which kill you. Um, there's also the pressure of time. If you go quickly through the ship, it's more likely you'll get ambushed, but if you go slowly, it's more likely that the space laboratory will crash into the planet below. There are a lot of different ways that events could turn out. You might find that your best Marine one game has his life cut short in the next. Horrible things will happen to your men that you won't expect. They will die in ways that you won't expect. Things will kill them that you maybe won't expect. And then you'll start to expect them, but you won't know when to expect them. And then you might expect them, and then they won't die the way that you expect. The specificity of these people and of the environment that you're in um, causes you to get an appreciation of the place more and more and ha has them uh, has the individuals involved come to life and develop this sort of history even though it's uh, throughout the same same set of events that they're developing this history it's sort of like that box with the cat uh, Cola Visto uh, who is a private pilot that Cola Visto is both alive and dead between plays there's a lot of different ways that things could turn out. You might find that your best marine in one game has his You're there to rescue people and you have to do it quickly, but all the while the orbit is degrading and eventually it might crash into the planet if you don't get out in time. Or you might just die 